How's it going today, everybody? This is Kaiju Maniac, your host, bringing you a brand new Bandai Movie Monster Series figure review. Today, we are looking at the extra special new King Ghidorah 1991 figure. Let's see if this figure is worth upgrading from the old Ghidorah. Let's not waste any time. All right, so taking a look at the brand new King Ghidorah mold, this figure is absolutely impressive. I'm just going to start it off with the tag, though, first. As you can see, mine has a huge crease in it. Thanks, Hobby Link Japan. <sighs> Not super happy about that. Uh, and then they use the old picture for the Ghidorah. This this picture has been in a few of the mo or on a few of the tags, so that's kind of a little disappointing too. They have the wing uh, silhouette behind there. Godzilla vs King Ghidorah movie monster series 2023. The inside doesn't say anything for the new Godzilla stuff, so it doesn't matter. So. Let's get down and dirty with it, since this review might be a little bit long, because I do want to talk about the differences with this figure and the old one, so we're going to have a section for that. Um, what I can say, if this figure was size accurate, which we'll get to, um, this would be already contender best for the figure of the year. This Ghidorah is impressive. Let's uh, just bring those heads in real quick. Look at how good, just not, not even good, look at how great this heads, these head sculpts are compared to the old ones, which, I, once again, I'll show you. These look way, 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 way better. Way better than the old ones. This whole mold looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, the body work, the way that the scales are done, the legs, the way the texture it feels, it feels like a mini Bandai Premium figure like the Showa Ghidorahs, which I'll also show you guys. This Ghidorah is absolutely incredibly detailed. It's movie accurate when it comes to the actual details. The wings are done way better on this one. I thought they were the same wings, but obviously within close inspection, they are not. They're completely new mold. It's a completely new mold for this figure. And if this, yes, I'll just keep saying it, if this figure was size in scale, kind of like the Mech, uh, Mechagodzilla 93, this figure would be easily perfect. I, I have no doubt in my mind. This figure would be perfect. The tails, the tails are done so much better looking. Oh my lord, it's just, it's disappointing that it's not in scale, but it gives me hope that maybe this mold will get a Bandai Premium release, and the head sculpts will be even a little bit better than they already are, and then we will have an in scale Heisei Ghidorah from Bandai. Just look at that. We finally have a middle roaring head. The, the Kevin head is half open, and then the other head is growling teeth gritted very nice articulation as you guys might assume is pretty basic just like the old one the legs rotate and the wings rotate this is how he looks folded up the wings come out he's definitely wider than the old one um, but it just this figure looks so much better so let's let's not waste any time let's dive in and let's grab that other Ghidorah and take a closer comparison so, here's the new 2023 King Ghidorah compared to the old Bandai mold. Uh, this is specifically the Memorial Box version. Uh, these two are actually kind of similar in color, but not really. Uh, but just look at these two sit sitting next by side by side. You can't tell me that the heads on the new one look way better than the old ones, the way that they're done. They actually have the horns kind of sticking out, but not really. And the fact that the middle head is open, I don't know why that bothers me. Uh, that this one's closed and the other two are open, but I think it just looks way better like this, having the three different. The textures are different. This one is a complete flat. Like, you can feel the ridges, but they're not, like, out. Where this one, it, it feels like scales. It kind of feels like a snake skin. Um, they are similar in size. Uh, the wings sit a little bit higher on this one. But look at how, like, kind of potato squished this body is, and look at how natural this body looks. It just, they, they just look way better, man. Way, way better. And that's not to say that the old one's awful, because the old one isn't awful. It's just they took the good things about the old mold. They took what they, what I would assume they learned from the Bandai Premium Showa Ghidorah release, and then they just mixed them, and then they just made it smaller. But they're pretty close on size, so it's not like it's a big deal. Speaking of getting into scaling, here he is with the Movie Monster Series 91 Godzilla. Obviously, these two do not work. Um, even if height wasn't an issue, this Godzilla is way too bulky for this Ghidorah, the way that it's it's just fit. They, 
It doesn't work. But then you compare him to the already short uh, Heisei 93 Mechagodzilla, and these two look actually really well with each other. Of course, I mentioned the Bandai Premium Showa Ghidorah, and here's the two side by side. Of course, as my older subscribers will know, I love uh, shitting on these 6-inch Ghidorahs because they normally aren't very good, but we finally have the new best 6-inch Ghidorah with this new 2023 release. So here's the family photo of all the 6-inch Ghidorahs minus Mecha King Ghidorah because now I think it's pretty obvious we're going to get a new mold of him as well. And don't you even think for a second I would forget about the two other best 6-inch King Ghidorahs in this scale, Cretaceous and Shin Ghidorah. These are the best. And yes, I haven't reviewed Cretaceous King Ghidorah yet. I will hopefully soon. You guys aren't going to want to miss that video. It's going to be very special. So that's the, my little teaser. Last but certainly not least, the Sun Guts Winter Wonderfest 2022, third form Shin Godzilla, and the Gojiban uh, Creepy Boy Manila. All right, and that's going to wrap up the review. As I said, this new mold for the King Ghidorah 91 is, well, it's shocking. I did not expect this figure to be this good. And even though it is not the correct height, it is a little scaled down, I can't deny this figure the 8 out of 10 that this this is. This could be in the top 10 by the end of the year. I'm, I'm not lying. I am fully blown away by this Ghidorah. And I think if you guys buy one, you'll be too. If you have the old one, upgrade to this one. Just take my word for it. I've looked at this one and the old one next to each other for a long time, uh, the last few days. This, just, just upgrade. You won't be disappointed, I promise. So, that is going to end the video. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. So as I always, always, always say, peace, rock on, stay safe, remember to go to Facebook, go to Collecto Monster, Monster Collectors, join the discussion with many, many, many other wonderful tokusatsu collectors of all different types of items, and watch me do live unboxings and post my photos and post other goofy things in the channel, especially hot sauce related, and I will see you guys in the very next review coming very, very soon. Bye, guys.